welcome or welcome back to beauty bees this month my project polish update is looking a little bit different because i realize that i have so many polishes that i specifically want to wear before halloween or you know maybe the week after halloween and if i continued to do four uses on six polishes there was no way that was going to happen so first we're going to give sort of the standard update go through the polishes that I was working on in August. And then I have a bin of, I think I counted there were 18 polishes that I want to get some use on during the months of September and October. And in my September updates, or no, in my October and my November updates, I know how to count. Um, I will go through some of the manicures that I did using those. Hopefully I will have some cute nail art to share. But let's start with the two polishes that I'm trying to finish. First we have this one from Cascade Polish, which I'm realizing I forgot to mark. However, you can tell that I made progress. Well, I can tell that I made progress. Yeah, I'm definitely below that gold line. I would say this was probably a manicure and a pedicure. So I think this polish is going to go relatively quickly and honestly this would go with a lot of the polishes that I have in my bin here so I think I will continue to get some good use on this. The other one I think I only wore once this month. This is Moonstone from Sally Hansen and I've been working on one topper at all times so far this year and I think this is the third one that I've been working on. So I've been doing pretty well. Just gotta keep that up to make it number three. And now for the polishes that I was just trying to get to four uses on. The first one I'm at three uses. This is from OPI. It is their Infinite Shine 2 nail polish in You Had Me at Halo. This is such a pretty color. If I have pictures for any of these manicures, I will pop them up in the corner. I so enjoyed this. I really love a grayish purple. That's just one of my favorite colors in general. And this is a very ethereal, sparkly version of that. The formula is a little bit different. It takes three coats to build this up to full opacity, but I don't even care because it's gorgeous and I feel like this could work really well as a topper over black. I feel like you would see a lot of interesting shifts. I might need to do that. I'm not at four uses on any of these polishes except for one, the next one we'll talk about, but I'll have to bring this in again in the November update to continue to work on because I do want to get to my four uses. Here's the one that I did get to four uses, which was very surprising to me. This is from Sally Hansen. It's one of their Insta Dry Pride polishes from last year, I think, maybe even two years ago. Not entirely sure. This is the shade All the Heels. The white on white writing was a choice. And I am wearing it today. My manicure is um very overdue to be changed, but it looked really nice when I first did it. I really enjoyed this. I didn't expect to because orange is just not generally my favorite color. I say while I'm wearing an orange or like peachy eye look and my The Great Pumpkin t-shirt, but yeah, maybe I'm a hypocrite, but I don't think I like orange that much. This has been really fun to work with though. I mixed it with a few different toppers. I did some nail art with it. Really enjoyed working with this color. Not something I would want to wear as a full manicure by itself because not really my shade, but it was fun to work on. I didn't work on this one at all this month. This is from Deborah Lipman. It's Love at First Sight is the sheerest sheerest pink you could possibly imagine. This Kiko one in Cool Plum. I like how I act like I'm reading the label. There's no label on this. I just remember that that's the name. And I wore this twice, I think. 
I think one time I did a manicure that was just using this polish and then the other time I used it as a base for this and it worked really well in both cases. This is another one that I might just stick in my bin to use over the next couple of months because I think that it would go really well with some of the other polishes. I like how this is very fall without necessarily being super Halloween. That might be a little bit more appropriate for some occasions in September or October than like bright orange with black and white glitter would be, you know? And then finally, the last polish that I was working on this past month, I might be at four uses on. My sheet says that I'm only at three, so I'm believing it, but I have my I have my doubts. This is Slay the Day from Color Club. It's a deep raspberry shade. This dries textured. I'm not exactly sure if it's supposed to be a matte with glitter or what. But this is very textured. The way I've been actually liking this is putting down one coat of a somewhat similar color. Um, I've been generally going deeper and then doing one coat of this on top. This doesn't have a lot of base color. A lot of the coverage is actually coming from those shimmers that you can see. So having something smooth underneath to sort of uh, disguise the nail line and then putting this on top I find works a little bit better because it doesn't get thick or weird feeling. So that's how I've been using it. I'm at three, maybe four uses, but we're going to call it three. And now we get into the bin and I didn't even bother to grab toppers. There are a few that I have in mind that I definitely want to wear in the next couple months, but I was already feeling overwhelmed just looking at my bin. So let's just run through these really rapid fire. First up, we have a black nail polish. I figured I was going to need that for accents or as a black base. This is Blackout from Koki. It's not a great black, but it's workable. We have Zipline from Sally Hansen, which is a wine cream shade, super fall. This might actually be a little bit more like Thanksgiving fall time than Halloween fall time, but I wanted to pull it out because it's gorgeous. We have two oranges. Both of these are more pumpkin-y oranges than the one that I was working on this last month, which was very yellowy orange. And they look pretty similar in the bottle, I promise. They are not identical. This one is definitely a little bit more red, a little uh, bit deeper. This one's a little bit lighter and a little bit more orangey brown. So two oranges and they are in a flash sale from the SE Expressy line and Zoya Cori. I think those will be fun. We have two matte China Glaze polishes. I don't know if these are actually intended to be like sister polishes, but I always think of them as such. Probably because I just got them at the same time and they're both really deep mattes, but whatever. We have Kiss and Spell and Hex Boyfriend. Okay, those, those have to be from the same collection, right? They are both very deep, they both have shimmer in them, and they both dry matte. Kind of not that fun to work with, but the effect is gorgeous and I want those witchy vibes. Speaking of those deeper witchy vibes, I have Linkin Park After Dark from OPI, which is like a very, very dark berry. Looks black unless you are really focusing on it. It's really pretty. This is a polish that I would actually like to finish in the not too distant future. I don't know if I'll have a chance to put it in this project this year, but maybe next year this would be a good candidate. These are pretty small. I think these are three mil bottles. Okay, so it turns out black on nearly black, maybe even more difficult to read than black on than white on white. So I don't know how big this is, but it's not very big at all. I mean, this is a Deborah Lippman Mini, and here's the OPI one next to it. Tiny little guy. We have another Deborah Lippman shade. This is Blue Monday. 
kind of a deep blue gray shade I think that's another like really fall but not not necessarily Halloween polish that would might be a nice break if I somehow get sick of all of the more witchy shades that I have this gorgeous shade from Alicia's Lacquers that I just haven't worn yet look at this stunning Bordeaux color with a bunch of reflective glitter in it so excited for it this is the shade Chicago Dogs Chicago Dogs having a hard time saying that but yeah dogs spelled d-a-w-g-s I'm way too white and midwestern to be pronouncing that word that way here's a completely different one this is a deep brown with a bunch of silver glitter this is from sinful colors it is the shade smoky palo santo i adore this shade and it really is a perfect shade for fall we have a sassy sauce polish i just wore this last week and i loved it i found myself staring at my nails all the time it's called glampire and it just does not come off nearly as shifty on camera as it does in person and it doesn't come off as shifty in person like looking at the bottle as it does on the nails this is so beyond stunning i love it i don't even have words i love that next we have a cirque colors polish this is my only cirque polish actually this is dove jelly i just feel like this would be so cute to do maybe a little cobweb nail art like use a black draw some cobwebs and then get that almost veil effect by topping it with this I think that'd be really cute very sheer shiny but like very even it's a really nice jelly polish it's pretty different for me and I think I could do some interesting things with it we have another polish pickup pick we're gonna roll with that this is ghosts of the vault from lemming lacquer and it is a deep blue purple base with multi-chrome shimmer in it that shifts like orange to green it just gives a very ghostly feel and that is like exponentially increased by these flakies that when they hit the light just right like glow green i think i referred to this as my madame leota polish when i hauled it and i agree with that 110 percent it's gorgeous i will wear it and i will enjoy every second of it we have a really grungy green this is later alligator i love that name because my mom at the end of every day of her preschool class leads a song uh see you later alligator and it make, made me think of that it's also just a really fun color i am looking forward to playing around with this one obviously i'm looking forward to using these because i pulled them but i'm still gonna say it after almost every single one we have this leisha's lacquers tree frog fork i think this is like the what is that cereal is it frankenberry i've never actually had frankenberry and count chocula and is it blueberry those three cereals but every time i look at this i see frankenberry just a very cartoonish take on halloween i love it i bet this was intended to be more of a spring summer polish but i see halloween and i'm all for that and then the last polishes that I pulled are three from Zoya. So first we have a Pixie Dust and this is in Noir. It's like a thin black jelly base that has a ton of red, like magenta red, if that's a color. It's not magenta, it's pink purple, but magenta red glitter in it. I have only worn this I think maybe twice because it's a pain in the butt to remove but for Halloween 
right? Like, this is a vampire polish, and I will not be told otherwise. We have another pixie dust. This, I think, is in their original pixie dust formula, which is a little bit... I mean, it's still hard to remove, but it's just a little bit easier to work with than this pixie dust. This is Cheetah, which is a green with a ton of silver shimmer, and it dries really textured. And then last, we have a metallic purple that gives me strong witchy vibes, and this is Suri, again from Zoya. Also, yesterday, I purchased three polishes from Polish Pickup that will be on their way to me. The September Polish Pickup theme was Haunted History, I believe. It was some kind of Halloween theme. And all three of those polishes are also going to work their way into this bin because they look so pretty and so Halloween, and I am ready for it. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of polishes that I'm intending to use. Hopefully I will get a chance to use all or nearly all of these over the next couple of months and I hope you'll check in to see the updates. So I will continue to post monthly updates and then we will uh, resume our normally scheduled programming with the five to six polishes I'm trying to get to four uses on on or around like November 3rd to 10th probably. Okay, I think that wraps things up. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye guys.